Now today's fly is um, blue wing olive and I'm going to tie it today in a size 18, a light dry fly hook and I'm starting off here with 80 black thread. If you hold your thread very short like this, tie it in or tie it onto the hook, I'm coming down a third of the way here. You won't have to cut any waste off if you hold it really short. So that's one little operation that shortens the procedure for tying flies. The material I'm going to use for the wing is um, Antron yarn. The colour is not described, oh it is actually, steel grey it's called. And that makes a very nice wing for a blooming olive. So I'm going to tie in a piece of that just here. About a third of the way back from the eye of the hook. Put in four or five tight turns to keep it in place. And then this part here, the cut at an angle. Cutting it at an angle gives you um, a tapered effect as you go back to body. As opposed to if you leave it there, it'll create a lump. So cut it at an angle and you'll get that nice tapered effect on the way back along. So I'm going back along to opposite the barb where I will tie in the tail, assuming I can find my tailing material. Uh, searching. Uh, there we are. The tailing material is just a piece of grizzle hackle. So I get about, about eight or ten fibres. The tail will be approximately the length, same length as the body, so I'll tie that in there. And there's your tail. Now the body material is this stuff here, it's Hens Micro Flash and I find it extremely good for tying anything small like dry flies or nymphs and the colour I'm going to use is this one here which I don't, it doesn't have a specific name, it's um, I call it just sparkly olive. So I'm going to dub on a very sparse thin rope of this sparkly dubbing and nice and tight on it and there and then wind it on trying to create that taper that I spoke about earlier there we are and just in front of the wing you can pull that a little bit off there for temporarily now the next thing is the hackle and, and I'm using um, grizzle dyed olive which is very useful for a lot of flies but particularly the blooming olive and I'm going to just expose the stalk here by trimming a few um, fibers from it and then tie it in here just in front of the wing. Now that little bit of dubbing I can just dub that on there. Okay. Now I turn in front of the wing. You're tight up to the wing now. Another turn behind the wing and then I come forward and tie just in front of the wing again and then tie that in four or five turns so that it won't escape and then trim the hackle off now any little errant fibers that are sticking forward I can just and trim them off. So now just another little bit more of that sparkly olive dubbing. And that creates the effect I'm looking for. And then four or five turn whip finish and the second one is to make it secure trim your tying silk and then the wing which is what, maybe two thirds the length of the body or thereabouts and that's my version of the blooming olive there's one more small I just trim out a little bit of that tail because it's a bit bunched one more small thing to do, I just come right in front of the eye of the hook here, bring my 
scissors back through the hackles and trim out um, a little V shape from and that will um, make it easier for the fly to land right side up every time so that's it that's the my version of blooming olive very good fly give it a try thanks for watching